It seems like everyone nowadays is talking about stem cells. More and more people are reaching out to me every single day describing various problems that they're having and wanting to know if stem cell therapy is the solution. Some of the most frequently asked questions that I get have to do with stem cells and back treatments, which is not surprising at all when you consider how common back pain is. But rather than just talking about this procedure, I thought you'd like to see for yourself exactly what it looks like, how much it costs, and what kind of results it can produce. And that's what we're doing in this video. Let's get into this. So just a little bit of background on me. I don't have any pain or any functional limitations, which is something that I work hard at every single day, but I have been involved in a couple of sports for extended periods during my life that are not known for being particularly nice to the spine. Back in 2003, I was diagnosed with a grade one spondylolisthesis in my lower back. And so I figured now 20 years later is the perfect time to get an MRI and see how all of those tissues are holding up. So I headed down to my local imaging center, climbed into that tiny tube, and after 40 minutes, I had my images. When I finally got to have a look at my images, there were a few things that stood out to me, and we'll start with the good. Number one, the shape of the vertebrae, the disc height, and the secondary curve all look fantastic, which at least partially explains why I don't experience any movement restriction in my spine. Number two, there was no spondylolisthesis, which means that in the 20 years since that injury took place, my body has completely repaired the damaged tissue and erased almost any trace that had ever happened. So I was really happy about that. What I was not so happy about was the three moderately sized disc bulges at L3, L4, L4, L5, and L5S1. And so I took my images over to Dream Body Clinic to have a chat with the doctor there to see if there was anything he thought he could do to help me. The consultation itself was extremely thorough and it was so nice to be able to sit down with the doctor face to face and go through those MRI images one at a time using all three views to figure out exactly where my biggest problem spots are. Now, as you can see, there's a moderately sized posterior disc bulge at L3, L4 that measures approximately six millimeters and another at L4, L5 that measures approximately five millimeters. Now there's also a posterior disc bulge at L5, S1, but when we looked at the spine in the transverse plane, that's using the MRI looking at the spine from the top down, we were able to determine that the potential for encroachment on the nerve roots was much greater at L3, L4 and L4, L5. So this process was extremely helpful for me to see and visualize the areas that we'd be working on and helpful for the doctor for coming up with a targeted treatment plan. After reviewing my MRIs, the doctor at Dream Body thought that I would be an ideal candidate for their comprehensive lower back treatment, which consists of four individual injections of 25 million stem cells each in combination with platelet-rich plasma, which are delivered intramuscularly directly into the back. Now, obviously, in order to undergo this procedure, you need to have a simple blood draw so that they can spin up your blood and separate out your platelets. So I went to have that done. And then about 20 minutes later, I went back into the treatment room to have those injections. And even though I'm not a huge fan of needles, I have to say that these look a lot worse on camera than they actually felt. All I felt really was a couple of times the initial pinch of the needle going into the skin. Beyond that, not too much. Now, also as a part of this treatment, I received an additional 100 million stem cells via IV infusion. So by the time the treatment was done, I had 200 million fresh mesenchymal stem cells circulating around in my body. People always want to know where do the stem cells used in these types of procedures come from? Well, in my case, the cells were allogenic, meaning they came from donor tissue. So I didn't have to undergo any painful liposuction or bone marrow aspiration in order to get those cells. Instead, the cells were harvested from the umbilical cord and placenta from a healthy live birth. These are tissues that would normally just be discarded as medical waste. But instead, the stem cells are taken out of those tissues and they're brought to a lab where they are then cultivated so that the numbers can be expanded significantly. Before harvesting, they're tested for viability, for bacteria, for cancers, and viruses. And only the best stem cells are used for treatment. 
Before we get into the cost of my procedure, which I know is something that everyone out there is interested in, I do want to mention that there is a ton of misinformation and just outright lies floating around out there about stem cell therapy. And it's really important if you're considering a treatment of this type that you take the time to educate yourself and speak with different experts and understand what you're getting into before you move forward with that decision. And I've written a brand new ebook that can help you with that and show you how to avoid the seven most common mistakes that are associated with stem cell therapy. And you can access that for free by clicking the link in the upper right hand corner of your screen. Now, as for the cost of my treatment, it was $7,500 out the door, which included the consultation, the blood work, the MRI imaging, the 100 million stem cells that I received with platelet-rich plasma by direct injection, and the 100 million that I got via IV infusion. And while that is a lot of money, when you consider the fact that I received 200 million very young, very vibrant mesenchymal stem cells, and you compare that to what a procedure like that costs in a country like the United States or Canada, starts to seem like a bargain, especially if that follow-up MRI shows a good result. As far as what to expect immediately after the procedure, I can tell you that I felt just fine. And then about four hours later, I got really sleepy and I had to lay down and take a nap, which is not something that I normally do. Also that night, I went to bed about an hour earlier than I normally do, and the next day I woke up an hour later than I normally do. So I was much more tired than usual. Also, the next day when I woke up, I had a lot of stiffness in my lower back. I wouldn't call it pain, but it felt like I'd done a really hard workout the day before, so I was really achy as I was moving around. Later on that day, I got some mild flu-like symptoms. Didn't have a fever, but I definitely had the chills for about two or three hours. Also, there was just kind of this general fatigue. The day after that, the stiffness in my lower back was cut in half, and my energy levels were up a little bit more, and one or two days after that, all the symptoms were completely gone, and I was back to normal. According to the experts, the maximum results that you can expect from a treatment like this take place in a three to six month window following the procedure. Now, I mention this because my plan here is to go back to the exact same facility and use the exact same MRI machine at the six month mark and get follow up images. So my original MRI was performed on May 29th of this year, 2023, and my stem cell procedure took place on Friday, June 2nd. So I'll be going back in December of this year to get those follow-up images, and I'm going to be posting a video so that we can all see what's possible with a stem cell treatment to the lower back. And because this procedure involved a significant financial investment on my part, for the next six months, I'm pulling out all the stops to maximize my results. And that means modifications to my daily routine, a new stretching and strengthening protocol, lumbar traction performed multiple times per week, supplementation and nutrition strategies, as well as one piece of high-tech gadgetry that's been proven to enhance tissue repair and regeneration. Now, if you're interested in seeing a video about my complete rehabilitation program, leave me a comment down below and I'll put that out for you guys. In the meantime, if you'd like to find out how to avoid the seven most common mistakes that are associated with stem cell therapy, check out my brand new ebook. It's completely free and I'll put a link for that in the description down below. Other than that, I just want to thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button before you head out of here and I'll see you next time.